This is strip footings from Brickwork. Now, in my book, it's page 148. So, um, it should be around there. Okay, so what we do, when we get um, the builder gets a plan, he gets our brick wall plan, and but he doesn't get a footing plan because we don't know what the land is going to be like. Okay, so this is our footing plan here. The width of the footing can vary for the different brickwork. It could be wider, depending on the soil. Okay, so when we look here, we have to note that our brickwork, our brick wall, our, is the diagonal here, the one skin here. And then our engaged pier is sitting there. So with the brick wall sitting on the footing, it is 110 and 110 and mortar in between. So that makes 230. So our footing is going to extend past our brick wall. So if you come down to the bottom here you, of the page, you will see the brick wall plan, the dimensions of the brick wall plan are there, then the footing plan is extended past it. The brick wall has to sit approximately in the middle of the footing. If it goes over to one side, it becomes unbalanced. So our job now is to work out what this extra is going to be um, added on to our dimensions. Okay, so the rule is it is the width of the footing minus the 230, 230 for the two lots of bricks, the, the wall and the engaged piers, and we divide it by two because we're going to add it to each side. Okay, so what we can do is go over to the next page and we're going to have a look at an, at an example. So this example says 6.3 by 3.5. Now our footing is 350 wide. Now, and when we look here, we're going to be asked to calculate the spoil and the concrete. So spoil is always from ground level down. Right? So we have to work out the new dimensions first before we can do our spoil and concrete. So the first step is we have to work out the value of X, this little bit extra that's going to extend past it. So when we look here, it is 350, yeah? And we're gonna minus the two lots of bricks to find out what this X is. So 350 minus 230, divided by 2 is going to give me 60. So what that means is on my original side I had 3.5 and I'm going to add 60 and 60. So I get a new figure, a new figure of 3.620. I have my length is 6.3 originally. I'm going to add 60 and 60. So I get a new figure of 6.20. So they're my new dimensions that I have to use when I'm calculating my spoil and my concrete. So 6.420 minus 350, the width of the footing like we've always done before. We get our length, 3.620 minus 0.35 and we continue down and we get the length of our footing. Then we can do our normal calculations as usual. So now we go to do our spoil. When we look in the question, it's going to say we, our spoil is 18% bulking. So we had the length of the footing that we calculated on the page at 18.68 times the width of the footing is 350 times now this is where people have to remember it goes from ground level down so we're going 120 plus 380 so it's 0 0.5 we get that much in cubic meters and we have to add our bulking factor 
So the volume for the spoil is 3.857 metres cubed. Now on the job you probably round that up to 4 metres cubed or you'd be charged at the tip for 4 metres cubed. Okay, but that is our answer. Now we come to volume of, for concrete and if you look in the question for the concrete in C, it's asking us for a concrete for the strip footing and 8% waste. So we use the same length figure, we use the same width figure, but we go to our drawing and our concrete is only 380. So we do the calcs on that and then we add our 8% waste. And so, and then we have to remember that concrete is in orders of uh, increments of 0.2, so we have to round that up to 2.8 metres cubed. Okay, so the thing that we're adding is to this exercise now that you haven't done before is the X factor. You have to make a new plan, new dimensions to work out the spoil and concrete. Okay, thank you.